Hello lovelies, welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be talking about 15 ways to live like Elizabeth Taylor in 2020. So over the last year or so, I've done a lot of research on Elizabeth Taylor for multiple videos. If you haven't seen those, make sure you check them out. And this one talks all about Elizabeth Taylor's lifestyle. So the first way to live like Elizabeth Taylor in 2020 is take a bath to set your makeup. So Elizabeth Taylor would take a short bath in order to set her makeup once all of her makeup was done. The steam from the bath was the final step before they quickly took the rollers out and teased her hair. And this made Elizabeth Taylor's skin dewy opposed to matte. One way Taylor was ahead of her time as she style matches beauty trends today. She also used more of a sheer foundation to let her freckles show through, again aligning with a modern natural look. And tip number two is use drugstore skincare products. So Elizabeth Taylor loved to use drugstore makeup brands and her favorite face cream was a Jergens face cream. And I happened to find one of the face creams she used and this is the all purpose Jergens face cream and it has the three lady heads on the front. And it's a really nice pink color. It definitely smells of vintage. It's kind of almost a combination of a makeup remover cold cream slash face cream. I use it more as a cold cream and makeup remover versus a face cream. And tip number four to live like Elizabeth Taylor in 2020 is collect Elizabeth Arden lipsticks. So Elizabeth Taylor loved makeup and she collected Elizabeth Arden lipsticks and had so many different colors. And apparently her assistant said that she would be buying new makeup all the time. I would bring her new stuff. I remember she was using a lot of Elizabeth Arden lipsticks. She had a huge collection of lipsticks. And I have a few Elizabeth Arden ones. They're really nice lipsticks. I have Scarlet 03, which is a really nice old Hollywood red. And then if you're looking for a nice pink 1960s one, there's Baby Pink 22. And tip number five is add lip glosses on top of your lipsticks. So Elizabeth Taylor loved a shiny lip. I think she's kind of like me because I'm more of a shiny satin lip versus a matte lip. The actress spent a lot of time on her eyes, blending different colors. Moist lips were important to her. She loved a shined lip. She used a matching lip gloss with a sponge applicator so she could control it easily with a lip pencil, but never a different color than a lipstick or lip gloss. And some of her favorite brands were Chanel, Dior, and YSL. And I found a really nice YSL lipstick and it's kind of a lip gloss lipstick combined and it gives a really nice satin glossy finish. And tip number six is wear the color green. So Elizabeth Taylor's favorite color is green and she even had a green car, the vintage Rolls Royce, and she nicknamed the car the Green Goddess due to its custom green color. Green was Taylor's favorite color and it was the same color as the wedding dress she wore when she wed Fisher. And tip number seven is eat a classic farm style breakfast. Elizabeth Taylor's favorite breakfast was two fried eggs, hamburger patties, hash brown potatoes, and a stack of silver dollar pancakes and maple syrup. Although Taylor eventually traded the decadent meal for a simple breakfast of seasonal fruit, whole wheat toast, and a tea of coffee, she said, I still have a big appetite. I think I could happily polish off a huge breakfast today, even though I wouldn't dare try. And tip number eight is indulge in a hot fudge sundae. So Elizabeth Taylor loved and lost many times in her life, but she was steadfastly loyal to her favorite foods even while dieting. She especially loved to indulge in ice cream milkshakes and hot fudge sundaes. When she was a teenager, she loved peppermint milkshakes and hot fudge sundaes from Will Wright's Ice Cream Parlor. And this was a popular Southern California dessert chain. And tip number nine to live like Elizabeth Taylor in 2020 is eat fried chicken. So Elizabeth Taylor loved fried chicken. It was one of her favorite foods. And you can see multiple pictures of her eating fried chicken. And even when she was traveling abroad, she would get fried chicken delivered to her and would make special trips just to get fried chicken. And apparently there's rumors that she would also take a limo through the McDonald's drive-thru. And tip number 10 is wear diamonds and statement jewelry. Elizabeth Taylor once said, Life without earrings is empty. One of her favorite pairs were diamond and platinum chandeliers. She was photographed in these earrings more frequently than any other jewelry in her collection. These shoulder dusting antique chandeliers were favorites of Taylor's, wearing them first in 1959 and four decades later in 1992 at the Academy Awards. When she discovered them in a Paris boutique, they sparkled with paste gems. 
She wrote, a few months later, back in New York, I was getting ready for a party and went to put them on. I opened a box and the earrings looked all polished up. I put them on. There was something different about how they fit, I said. Mike, there's something wrong with my earrings. He chuckled and said he had them made up with real diamonds. And another famous piece of jewelry that Elizabeth Taylor wore is the Taylor Burton diamond. And this is a diamond weighing 68 carats and became notable in 1969 when it was purchased by Richard Burton for Elizabeth Taylor. And this is a pear-shaped diamond. It was sold for over a million dollars at auction. And it was actually originally set in a ring, but the ring was even too big for Elizabeth Taylor. So she had Cartier design a necklace and she wore this new necklace design to the Academy Awards in 1970. And you can see multiple photos with her that like really beautiful kind of light purple dress with that giant diamond along her neckline. And tip number 11 is wear vintage fur coats and faux furs. So obviously Elizabeth Taylor would wear real fur coats and fur jackets and she would wear them with bejeweled shift dresses and fancy hats and obviously if you don't believe in wearing vintage fur or real fur you can find lots of vintage inspired faux fur knockoffs and tip number 12 is wear white diamonds perfume so her first perfume was launched in 1987 and it was passion that was the beginning of a fragrance empire that would be one of the most successful in history and I have a whole bunch of her perfumes because the state of Elizabeth Taylor sent them to me. So I have the original White Diamonds perfume, which I love. It's such a classic. And it's just really nice. I like it that it's actually not too strong. And you can just spray a little bit and it settles really nicely. And it's not overpowering. It's kind of a light, fresh perfume. And then another one that I really like is her Gardenia one. And it comes in this really beautiful green bottle. And I like it because the green is her favorite color. And it has a beautiful gardenia flower on top. And another one is Love and White Diamonds, which is another fragrance by her. This one came out later, and it's more of a softer floral one. And then another one is White Diamonds on Rouge. And this one's really nice, too. It's a little, I don't know, it's hard to explain the difference between the original White Diamonds, but... It's a little bit more sultry and smoky, I would say. But I like all three of them and wear them all the time. My favorite for daytime, I think, is their Gardenia one. I also do like them that they're not too expensive, so they're quite affordable, and they're not too overpowering, and they're like light, fresh fragrances that you can kind of spritz on and don't have to worry about like being overwhelmed with perfume. And tip number 13 is use Elizabeth Arden 8-Hour Cream. So later in life, Elizabeth... Taylor switched to more high-end beauty products and used the original Elizabeth Arden 8-hour cream and this one came out in the 1930s and she absolutely loved this cream and even had some next to her bed and would moisturize her hands and even her lips before a bed. And tip number 14 to live like Elizabeth Taylor in 2020 is use Macquifard setting powder. So I originally found out about the setting powder when I was researching Elizabeth Taylor for another video and you can buy this one on eBay still and it comes in this beautiful purple container and it just reminds me of Elizabeth Taylor's eyes they're like this beautiful purple color and it just looks very vintage even though it's not vintage you can still buy this one today but I just love the look of it and it's an incredible face powder it works so well and tip number 15 to live like Elizabeth Taylor in 2020 is where unique statement hats and turbans. So I found numerous photos of Elizabeth Taylor wearing really unique turbans with jewels and diamonds on them. She also had some really interesting hats too in her collection. So she was huge on accessories.